I didn't even really want to, well, I didn't really want to record this video because my lips are ashy, but by the Holy Spirit, El Shaddai, I just had an episode of, I woke up weeping, oh my God, Ooh, weeping over my mom, and I realized that that's why I'm a nurse, so when I went back to nursing after COVID, um, I got triggered emotionally because a lot of times staff members would try to like put blame on like pe like the patients for you know they was like well maybe they picking at it maybe they doing this and I was like no he was just sitting up and something just popped off and like when you try to when I try to like explain from the patient standpoint to a nurse or a CNA a lot of times they get they flip they'll flip they get, they get flu gazing on me so like I had battled that um and I've always God has always given me favor and grace in nursing see because no weapon form will prosper and said man you know the enemy gonna come one way but they gonna flee seven and it was so heavy today and this morning I woke up I was like I don't even want to go to work but I saw my king spouse and God said, um, when I consider it bad, he said, you're going to consider it perfect. God is amazing. I, El Shaddai. I just had an episode where fear and trembling on the floor. And something about sour grapes. Something about iron. Rod. Um, the Lord, our righteousness reigns. Um, mm, glory. Hallelujah. <sighs> I spent a little bit of time with my Kano spouse and I was trying to like it comes out so fast I call it a prophetic uh, a, 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 a rant it sounds like a prophetic rant and it's because I talk very fast I think too fast sometimes so I had three car wrecks too. The arm of the Lord been on my life, been in, on me in all my life. So the car wrecks and the concussions, you know, people have PTSD. I mean, let's keep it real. You know, them head traumas. So, and then, um, so I process differently, right? Um, this heart, this heart, like the heart of King David and the wisdom of King Solomon, the tears of Jeremiah. The rebuilding of the wall in Nehemiah. <laughs> Noah. The mission. Mm. Moses. Moses. Joshua. Deborah. Ruth. Mm. God is bringing down the pride of Moab. I've seen God give two people strokes in the past. One died in the past since October, November. One died for blaspheming God. God got me out here in this place. Thank you. It's desolate. You got the heathens raging up north over here. All the captives are in captivity. God said they're going to come from the sword. They're going to return by the sword. If they come from death, let them return to death. If they come from famine, let them return to famine. If they come from captivity, let them turn to return to captivity. That's what God said. He said, go stand in the gates and tell this people if they do not, if they do not turn from their wicked ways, repent and make your, straves, your path straight towards the Lord. Repent, be baptized in the Holy Spirit, like the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. That's right. That's right. I'm standing right here. I'm right here. I'm letting you know that whoever the sun sets free is free indeed. No to anything that exalts itself over the knowledge of God. No. Bring all things under the subjection of the mind of Christ. That's right. I love you. God bless you. Shalom.